That bounced crazily in front of the net. Now Wayne Babbitt to Samuelson. Malarchuk a save. And Mike Eagles gets it for the Nordiques. Poking it into center ice. Samuelson knocking it down to Wayne Babbitt to Robertson. Dory Robertson shot wide of the net. Number 17, Wayne Babbitt taken out by Price. Now Ferraro and Moeller battle in the corner for it. And three other players jam up. And then Moeller trying to get into it. I believe with Wayne Babbitt. Dory Robertson, what happened was the sticks up against the boards kind of got high. And now they're all piling in there. And we're going to have a third man situation now. Gillis got in there as well. It started with, with Moeller and Babbage. I, I thought it was Babbage, but as they look, it was Ferrero that he was going after on. All right. And Robertson, I think it was his stick that seemed to be up as they were in the corner. And now this has got to be pretty serious stuff. That's Mike Eagles that Robertson has pinned to the ice. He's been in a few fights in this series already. As Gilbert Delorme missed the second game of the, of the series because of an injury he suffered while fighting Robertson. Moeller's the one that's most upset at it all. The rest of it seems to be a lot of holding. But I would think, without assuming too much, that because of the way this has gone, there's a third man situation involved here. Who it is and which team, I don't know. Boy, I tell you, Moeller is really incensed. When well, I get Ferraro over towards the penalty box, the referee Hogarth gets Ferraro away. Now that's Babbitt and Pat Price. We'll have each other in a headlock. We get Ferraro into the penalty box. There's Ferraro having his save from away over there. Back to Delorme. Shooting Leuda Club save. And he held on to it. And Samuelson and Goulet jam at each other with their sticks. Now in comes Stuart Gavin to push at Goulet. And two other players, Hunter and Kleinendor, square off. And the linesmen have a busy time right here. Here's the penalty coming here as Samuelson comes charging in to check Goulet away from the side of the net. A little extra shot led to a shot by Goulet, and that led to a little bit. Has a man open in front of the net, can't get it to him. And coming back with a good play was Samuelson as he tires, ties up Hunter. Anton Stasty now in to help up. Now Dale Hunter getting in a headlock with Samuelson, and then one of the... Other waiters comes in and takes a shot at Hunter. Well, Hunter up against the board. Samuelson was playing the puck. Hunter decided he was going to start to rough up Samuelson. Into the corner by Liu. Oh, Samuelson there to get it. To number 23, Paul McDermott, who cleared it. Great night here tonight. Four of the five goals that have been scored. Here comes the charge. There it is up against the board. Goulet gets it in front, but Samuelson for Hartford. Feeding it to Evans of the Quebec zone. Center deflected. Goslan just got a piece of that deflection by Tippett. Now McDermott trying to kick it along the boards. Here's Jarvis. Centered one. And then Hogarth taken out of the play. And then play is called as all heck breaks loose. The Hartford player. Now it's loose right there. Leo just gets down. Nice to have that size. And Hunter, they're ever so aggressively going after it right in front of the net, as he always does. They are in big trouble here. And the next try hits the side of the net. Another shot by Picard, and Leut stopped that. And then Picard is upended. Stuart Gavin just shoots it in. Lord Donnelly trying to clear it out. Two Poche, number 19. Whalers 7, Quebec 3. Well, that's the play that Quebec was complaining about as Gillis was upended near the net and then chopped at. McDermott, taken out by Picard, got the shot off anyway. Another point to Donnelly, and Leute gets a piece of that to steer it away. And then Samuelson in front of the net, getting his stick up with Dale Hunter. Samuelson and Hunter have to be separated. ripped a stick out of Samuelson's hand and then dropped his own stick. Yeah. They have separated, finally. So, Ulf Samuelson and Dale Hunter will go to the penalty box here in Hartford. Go back holding it in, but now tip it to Jarvis. Oh, he takes a lick from Eagles. And then back of the play, Ashton 
getting into it with Stuart Gavin. And now Dale Hunter and Samuelson get into it over on the boards. Two separate fights going. Well, Samuelson's not a fighter. He's never learned anything about that. As I said about him, he is, first of all, he's going to find out how to fight here, I guess, against Hunter. We'll sort of watch this one. We've got two of them. The line's going to tie it up, so that means that Hunter and Samuelson are going to be allowed to, to do it on their own because the linesmen are tied up in the other area. There it is, off to the right of your picture. That's the main event. The other one has been nicely controlled by the linesmen. And Ron Hogarth just trying to keep everybody away from this one. Doesn't want a third man in there. And they're not doing much, either one of them. They've got a good hold on each other. Samuelson's a big guy. Interesting thing is, how often do you see a fight anymore in which both combatants have their helmets on? Now, as they fall to the ice, in come the linesmen to separate Samuelson and Dale Hunter. And they're probably so doggone tired after yeah. that wrestling match that they're relieved that the linesmen finally got there. 4.58 remaining, 8-4 to four in favor of Hartford. Ontario, one of the heroes for Hartford, but they had many. And there's John Anderson in his six-point evening. What a hero against his enough. old team. Against his old team. They had a great year, Quebec. They struggled, they fought, and finally they broke free in the Adams Division to win it by a considerable margin over the Canadians. Many people thought this was the year because they didn't have a difficult final couple of weeks of the year that the Adams Division champion had a chance to advance. But not to be because of a young upstart team that is quickly developing a great following across Canada. Who would have believed it? The upstart Hartford Whalers. Fourth place finishers on the last weekend of the season. Eliminate the division champion Quebec Nordiques in three straight. The final score here tonight. Hartford nine, Quebec four.